All right, another week of a vlog. We are uh, heading down to Florida here, and we should have some pretty cool footage. We'll see what happens. We're just uh, we got here a little early. It's about 5.30 in the morning, so uh, we're on our way. Let me get under the light so you can see me. Um, we got in early this afternoon. I rented this boat out here. We'll probably see it in the morning. Pack. I got a bunch of rods to rig up. It's crazy hectic. Let's go check things out. All right, you can see behind me are all the rods and gear that I shipped. And I guess we're gonna go out in the car and get a bunch of stuff in here. All right, we're loaded up. Got a lot of stuff in here. Put all these reels on. <sighs> Let's go out and see if anything is attracted to my fish light yet. Doesn't look like it. My, well, I caught my first shark of the trip. We'll see if we can get him in. In. No idea what kind it is. I can't believe he didn't break my line. I caught him on a live shrimp. Imagine that. over me okay guess I don't need my still well we're catching a few fish I got another shark on So yesterday was my first full day out on the water. I ended up catching a bunch of snapper and some sharks. I don't know what kind of sharks. I really, I didn't land them. They weren't even that big, but whatever. It was cool. I'm going back out today. I gotta go actually get some more uh, bait. I'm gonna pick up some live bait, some pilchards. This morning from a guy out on the water, only because I can't really find any bait to cast to. Uh, I got some frozen bait, stuff like that, but you need some live pilchards apparently. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, it should be a great day. It's gorgeous out right now. Not a lot of wind, but uh, it's just starting to get light. It's about seven right now. It's nice here. We got a nice freezer full of everything we're going to need here bait wise. So I literally just caught, I had, I threw my bait out and within, I didn't even put in the rod holder and the fish hit and literally went at least 300 yards and he just spit the hook finally. I'm glad because I thought he was going to take all my line off the spool, but there's some crazy shit in this canal. I, I, I'm going to tell you the story when I get into the light. We had a giant bull shark grab our kingfish earlier today, right here on the dock. Literally, I'm talking a three foot wide mouth within, I mean, two feet. Whatever I had on broke that hook 
in half. Hey guys, currently I'm getting schooled. And we got Epic Eric on the line. What's up, bud? What's up, man? <laughs> How many yards you got on that thing? Uh, it keeps going. I can't stop them. I, I've been fighting them for what, 10 minutes now? Yeah. He's got to be by the mouth of the river by now. I don't know what to do. Oh, he's off finally. Oh, my God. <laughs> How many yards of line is that, you think? Oh, my God. That's gonna take you like an hour to reel in. <laughs> this rod is on fire, dude. Let's see how long it takes to reel them in. Yeah, so it's a really good one. It's a Daiwa uh, or a Shimano TLD two speed fifty LRSA. And I I got this seven years ago at Bass Pro Shops and they and they hooked me up. Like there's probably a thousand yards of braid on this fish. Oh, that was braid. Yeah, it's hooked up for shark fishing. Yeah, for like a, and you had a steel leader obviously, right? How big was the hook? Um, one of them big ass circle hooks. That's crazy, This man. is a to do this to me tonight. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Just chunk a piece of fish right off the dock. That's nuts. No weight or nothing. Just yeah, just it throwing it out there. That's crazy, man. Those mean ones too, man. Look how much I'm reeling. I'm still reeling. That's so crazy. What were you trolling for that king mackerel? Ah, uh, uh, ballyhoo. Yeah. yeah, how fast were you going? Like pretty quick? No, actually about six. Was that where you were, you were started in a uh, king or didn't matter? Whatever bit. Yeah, Wahoo, king. Yeah, yeah. How big was the king? 30 or 40? 60 pounds. 62 pounds. 62 pounds. That's a big, 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 big. That's what I heard. They said they'd... Take off some line. Yeah, they said that'd be like a, a tournament winner, 100 grand fish at some point. Oh my gosh, and you filleted him. <laughs> <laughs> Dash somebody's tournament dreams and hopes. <laughs> Dude, I'm still how reeling. Long, how long did it take you to get him in? Okay. Eh, probably 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, did he jump? No. Oh wow. Uh -uh. How long was this first run, would you say? King. Long. Yeah, you go a couple hundred yards. Oh yeah. Easy. Oh my god. Oh dude, that's gonna take you forever. What the How many inches per crank? It's not that slow, bud. It's not? No. It says <laughs> it says on here high speed even. Yeah, right. That reef is probably hot too, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. What, what pound break? 80? I think a hundred. But then they put like, but then they put like a mono shocker, like three, uh, yeah, three hundred with with crimps. You know, what I mean, not even knots. Yeah. Yeah. And then there must have been a steel leader, right? I did put a shitty steel leader on. It'll, it'll be interesting to see what's left. Yeah, I'm really curious where it got bit off. You got there. Guys, I'm literally been reeling for 20 minutes, just reeling in the fucking line. Oh. How long you got there? I don't leave on Tuesday. Alright. That's crazy, but fish or anything? Like, trying to get a snapper or something? Oh, let's see. He basically broke the, uh, he bent the wire on the swivel. No. 
Yeah. Now, let me see. Let me see. Hold it up to me. Hold up the camera. Hold on. Let me bring you inside real quick and show you. I want to see. Fuck. All right. Update, guys. This is getting ridiculous. My leader literally just got clobbered. I lost another. I got to figure out how to catch one of these damn sharks. I'm going to go with this setup right now. Which means I have to be there to set the hook. It's not a circle hook. I gotta. I'm getting them. I'm getting these suckers. Well, I got something on. It's awfully strong. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. I'll show you what he looks like. There's shark. Touch them to make it legal. Here we go. A uh, grouper. Oh, really? Oh, I caught a, a giant cobia. Just huge. Sun's going down. I got the old fillet in the fish. I'm gonna go cook it up. All right, we got some snapper, some amazing. All right, guys, here we are again tonight. Obviously, another hookup, and he ain't stopping anytime soon. Uh, probably a bull shark. I've been dealing with them the last couple nights. There ain't no stopping them. I'm trying to stop them. Oh, that's hot. No, he's probably by the mouth by now. I got a, I got a thousand yards on here, but I can't stop him. I'm gonna try my best. He's slowing down. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? He's slowing down, but I think he's got some more. Oh shit! Why did I do this to myself? You know?
have to move them this way. What's that? I'm trying. You don't want nothing to do with that. There, there, he turned. He turned. I gotta, I gotta stick this thing in the rod holder somehow. I'm toast. Mm. I can't even crank on. He's got to be 400 yards that way. Wow. At least. I got to put this rod and holder here. That's all I can do. And just fucking crank. Coming this way now. Oh. Yes. Going back out. No. He ain't moving. That's probably a good sign. Oh, he's off. Ah. Uh -huh. uh. Well, we'll try it again. I bet it takes me five minutes to reel this thing in. All right, guys, I lost that fish again. Hey, all right, here we are another morning. I'm gonna head out. Head out on the ocean to see if we can catch a few more fish today. Here, I'm just loading it up in the boat. We're gonna go. All right, guys, I'm actually trying to catch that shark tonight and on a live show right now. So we're going to see what we can figure out here. Here's my setup. So I got my computer in here. I got a little lamp up here. And you got the big shark rod sitting right here. And here we are waiting for our flight the next morning in a snowstorm. Hmm. All right, it was cool getting down to Florida, checking things out. I really wish I had more experience and better equipment, and it's so crazy down there. I, honestly, if I didn't have to deal with what I'm dealing with here, I'd probably be down in the Keys. That's my place. I'm a saltwater guy. I identify as a saltwater angler. Or do I? I don't know. I'm so confused so confused all right listen i appreciate you guys checking out the vlog 
We'll see how exciting next week is. Back up north. Got to head up to the house. We close up in New York. I'm dealing with some stuff back and forth. Uh, guiding's kicking up. If you guys are interested in booking a trip with me on the Chesapeake Bay, this will be my last year fishing on the Chesapeake for largemouth. I fish out in northeast Maryland, March, April, May, and a little bit into June. I'm also uh, booking some dates for the early Canadian smallmouth season in upstate New York, Lake Ontario, the St. Lawrence River. Check out my website, smallmouthcrush.com, for more information on those available dates. And uh, get a hold of me if you want to get on the uh, on the calendar for this year. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.